Okay guys, so today, November 6th, it's the day that Brighter Shores comes out, the day that we've all been waiting for, for for months on end. I've talked long and hard about the fact that this game has been one of the most anticipated things for me of this entire year. I tried to get into the closed beta and I didn't, and it kind of irritated me a little bit for a while. And then I woke up today and I was in the gym working out before you know everything started, before I came home to get online and start streaming the game and get my first time ever playing the game when I got an email from a guy that said something along the lines of, oh, we hope you've been enjoying your time in whatever the world of Brighter Shores is called, I can't remember. And you know, I hope you've been enjoying the closed beta. And if you have any content ready for it, you put it out now. And I said, what? <laughs> so I I had this guy's email and I searched for it and I did get into the closed beta and I didn't even know because I'm dumb and I'm not good at this. I'm I'm not. The only reason that I'm here doing this is because I keep putting out videos and people keep showing up and they go, get the tomatoes, boys. Let's Rubus put out another one. Let's say something to him about it. And, and that's why I'm here. It's not because I'm good at this. That's that's obvious. But what I am good at and what I do enjoy is playing video games and I played some brighter shores today and I'm going to talk to you guys about what my first thoughts about that are because uh, I got some thoughts. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and tell you a whole bunch of things about, you know, oh, here's what you need to do within your first 20 minutes of the game. I'm not going to sit here and tell you, like, oh, this is the full beginner's guide. I'm not going to sit here and tell you, you know, well, the combat seems to... I, that's not what I do. We know that. I'm, I talk about the feel of the game. I talk about what's going on in the game. And let me tell you, this game feels wild. I am beginning to believe that Andrew Gower is a games master in the way that we would historically think of a games master, not as somebody who is out here creating an experience for us to all, you know, dominate each other in or for us to all microtransact and all these things. Obviously, that's not going to happen. But I think that Andrew Gower is playing some kind of weird prank on us constantly. I think that RuneScape was a social experiment that he enacted on all of us that turned out that we now have some kind of Stockholm syndrome with. And I think that he's now doing that again with this game. And I kind of love it. And it's it's strange. I spent a very long time fishing today along with the entire population of this game. Somewhere I think Andrew Gower was watching all of these people in a, a little river just stabbing puffer fish with a harpoon trying to get to level 25 so they could finish a quest only to be greeted by two level 30 enemies when they get to the end of that quest. There was only four quests on launch, two of which I've been able to complete so far, um, and it's it's like super grindy and super difficult to get through these quests, but the whole time that you're doing it, you're like facing all of these things about yourself. You're you're trying to hang in there and continue to play this thing and to, to push yourself in that same way that you do with RuneScape constantly. You're, you're having all of these thoughts. You're seeing all of those dark places that you go to when you're in the middle of a workout trying to get through, dude. You're like, I only have three more levels left. I can do this. And then you get through one of those three more levels and someone tells you that there's a, a two level boost potion that you can buy. So you go and spend 45 silver of like the 85 silver that you have, which you were saving up because you want to upgrade your harpoon because you figured out that there is a 5% XP bonus if you upgrade your harpoon. And then you go and buy that two level boost potion so you can go and catch that fetid flounder. And when you catch that fetid flounder, you can't even do it because the level boost potion doesn't actually work that way. It's something about passive skills and like idling. I don't even know how this game works because I refuse to Google anything. And I am just having an absolute blast, dude, watching the community create itself all at once, seeing the experiment of a brand new game that is just like a ton of fun, watching everybody because we're all doing this repetitive thing in order to try to like find a goal for us to work towards. The amount of people who are all standing around fishing and... Okay, so there's this one specific spot right in the ocean uh, where you catch flounder, right? And that's where you spend the last four levels of your grind to level 25. The fish that you're trying to catch for this quest is called the fetid flounder. So obviously, all of these people who have just logged into the game come to the flounder spot and they all ask the same exact thing. Where do I catch the fetid flounder? How do I make these flounder fetid? 
and we all just started telling them the same thing. I was there for two hours. We all start telling them the same thing. It's north of here. It's right up there, dude. We don't say you need 25 fishing. We say, go over there and look. It's right over there, dude, just go get it. Because like, it's so funny while we're all here fishing. Why do you think the entire server is standing in this ocean trying to catch flounder? Like there's only four quests in the game. Go over there and see, dude. And then they go and then they say nothing and they come back and they're fishing with you. And it is, it is so good. It's such a, an amazing experience to be having in a video game. One where like, I think like when, when these games come out, everyone is just rushing to the end of them so much of the time, right? Like every time, regardless of whether it's an MMO, regardless of whether it's a new shooting game, regardless of whether it's it's the new, you know, Elden Ring or Dark Souls or, or some story driven game like God of War, no matter what these games are that come out, nowadays the only thing that people care about is how quickly they can get to the end of it. They care about rushing through in order to be the person who has the the highest levels, the person who is the, the greatest at the game. And an Andrew Gower game, it shows you very quickly of, hey, this is not going to be an easy game to do that in. There are going to be people who can do it. There are going to be the Zezimas who show up and play this game and they get to level 500 in all of their skills, by the way. I mean, in the game already. And, and like, not even all the skills, so there's only five skills in the game currently. And like the cooking has has 467 or something as the max level for for the 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 recipes that you can make. So there's 500 levels to work through in this game. The grind is going to be insane. It's coming out episodically. Every new zone you go into, you're starting over from scratch. Apparently, this is the rumor that everyone's talking about. So every time a new zone gets released, every time a new chapter gets released, you have completely new skills that you use within that chapter that all start off at zero. Different levels of combat. The, the area that you're in currently, when you first start out, you're using guard combat. You're like a town guard. And so you're leveling up those skills. And, and a lot of the enemies that you're fighting are goblins and monsters around the town. And they're, you know, uh, thieves and things that are, are harassing a town because you're the town guard. But in the next zone, it could be my Mind fighter, which is, I have no idea what that is. And you might be, you know, fighting things that are in a mind to level it up. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on in this game, but like it's, it's, it's wild to log into a game where it's an experience that you're having with a giant community. It is a massively multiplayer game. So I think Andrew is sort of playing this games master role where he is pulling all of these strings, setting up these situations, I don't think it's an accident. I don't think that Andrew is somebody who is doing any of this uh, by happenstance. I don't think that the fact that the flounders are right next to where the fetid flounder is and the fetid flounder is kind of out of the way a little bit so you wouldn't have unlocked that screen yet, that he knows, I think he knows that all these people are gonna be fishing these flounders because 21 to 25, that's the only option you have unless you're gonna do AFK methods, which no one's gonna do AFK methods on the first day. So he knows that all these people are gonna be here fishing, that there's gonna be plenty of new people coming by and asking the same question that everyone else has asked, and then they're gonna get hauled right into that experience as well. And I, I think that that's such a strength of an online game that you can have the people of the game be an element of the game. This game is capturing it so well. And I just, I really hope that I keep having these experiences. I hope that I am able to pace myself well enough in this game that I can continue to be a part of these experiences that are happening with the community. The people in the chat with me today while I was streaming were having the biggest laugh about all of this as well, dude. Any Anytime something, another, what I would consider to be a borderline middle finger from Andrew Gower, I mean, we would all crack up about it. <laughs> by the, we were talking in in game chat with uh, one of my friends in in who I play these games with, and he said he said Andrew Gower's having a laugh right now, and I said, oh yeah, dude, we are. He said. He said, man, you know what I'm gonna make them do? The day after their election, America, I'm gonna put them all in this river and they're gonna catch puffer fish, bro. And they're gonna stand there for hours and hours and it's gonna slow down incrementally and they're gonna keep going. And everyone in the room was like, 
You think they're gonna pay for that? He said they're gonna swipe their credit card so fast it's gonna catch on fire, bro. And we did, dog. I needed, I needed to get that original name so unbelievably badly that it was like an absolute necessity for me, dude. And it's only six dollars too. When you when you learn that, first of all, first of all, let me just say. Until you get to the point to where if, if you if it really matters to you to have a in a, a, a unique name, then go ahead and buy that that membership. I think that that this game is going to be a really good game over the course of all the time that we play it. I think that there will be regular content updates. I think Andrew is someone who is very capable of putting together a long term project and sticking with it for a very long time. I don't have any worry about that. The, but the base game is free. Um, there's lots of content for you to do. There's a lot for you to try out to see if you want to do it. It's very grind heavy as I expected this game to be. And and I just think that he is so good at keying into people's brains and sort of hot wiring that, that pleasure center of your brain. When I finally hit level 25 and fishing, so close, dude, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, my backpack, my backpack's not full yet. Come on. So close. Oh. oh my gosh, that was so good, dude. I just, and then I had to finish the quest and the quest was really hard and it took me, I had to train combat up in order to be able to do it. But eventually I did it and it was great. And, and I can't wait to play more. I'm so excited to log back in and to get back into it. This is not me trying to hype up this game. Listen, I was supposed to have content ready, apparently. I got into closed beta. I had no idea, because I'm bad at this. This isn't me trying, but like, guys, the game's good. The game's good. If you like old school RuneScape, the game's good. And you take that from me, because if this game sucked, I would tell you. I really would. I, I just, I would, dude. There's lots of other people out there who are gonna tell you all about the skills, who are gonna tell you all about the items. I'm gonna make some videos about that too. But this is my first thoughts about the game and this was my experience in it. And yeah, it was really good. So play it. That's the video guys. Also, if you guys wanna watch another one of my videos, it'll be somewhere here, here on the screen and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll probably more Brighter Shores content for a while. Peace out guys, bye.